Good afternoon. So today we're going to be doing a mince pie recipe. Happy Christmas! <laughs> 24 hours later. So we are making mince pies today. This is round two. We tried this yesterday. And what did we forget, Al? We, uh, you forgot. Alex, what did we forget? Uh, rolling pin. Which we now have. I just went and got it from the shop. We were ready to, oh my god, we were ready to make mince pies and got all the ingredients out, started chatting yep. to the camera, and then we were like, oh, we don't have a rolling pin. <laughs> so we've got a rolling pin, and I also picked up a bowl because we only had a wooden bowl, which would have been annoying. But we're gonna make mince pies today. I have a recipe on my channel from last year's Vlogmas, so we're gonna be following that, and if you wanna just watch a video of it being made, you can check that out, it's like three minutes long. But we want to make it together and um, show you guys, so oh. <laughs> I really think it's time we had some mince pies. We've only had a couple at Charlie's, so yep. time to make our own. Do you think they'll survive the day? Oh yeah, there's, there'll be loads. Oh, okay. Well, I'm falling well, over. <laughs> okay, so what you all need is some dairy-free butter. So this is a really standard mince pie recipe, just with dairy-free butter. Some plain flour, some soya milk or other dairy-free milk. Icing sugar, mince meat, which I know some Americans get confused about the idea of. I don't know if mince pies are a UK, I think they're an English thing, aren't they? UK thing. Probably. Um, yeah. Because I swear when I made the recipe last year, everyone was like, what the hell is mince meat? It is not yeah. meat. I used to think that it was meat for years. No, it's it. not. It's literally just like apples and fruit and sugar. So that has nothing to do with meat. Yeah. I don't know why it's called that. And then a bit of salt, a rolling pin, a, some scales. A tray, a baking tray for you know the little things. Uh, what would you call them? The little things. The little things. A bowl and some little things. Oh, some little cutters. You'll need two different sizes. Um, one smaller, one larger for the base and for the top. So there. There you go. Right. So Alex is gonna start it off with measuring out some of the butter. How much do we need? Eighty-five butters. Eighty-five butters. Oh, actually, let's use that as our mixing bowl, and let's use this as a measuring bowl. Some butter. You're gonna use your have to use your other finger, darling. I prefer to use a spoon. Oh. I, don't wanna get, I always get stuck in. And use I don't want to get too greasy just yet. Uh, I've got 84 grams here. Well, you need 85. Uh, yes! Yeah. <laughs> plain flour. So how much plain flour do we need? 175 flours. Okay. <laughs> oh. Whoa, that's way over. Back it goes. No, that's just not Just work. a little teaspoon will do. Look, 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 look. You really don't have to be that accurate. According to your method, it says, add flour and mix together with fingers or in a food processor. Well, I think you're getting your fingers out because we don't have a food processor big enough, so. Alex, or do you want me to do this part? Uh, I don't mind. Maybe I'll do this part. So the first thing you want to do is break up the butter into a few little pieces, so it's not like big chunks, and make sure your hands are cold. You don't want to, I mean, it's not really a struggle right now because it's winter and it's freezing, so my hands are nice and cold. Um, you want to make sure your hands are cold and then break it up. I feel like Nigella Lawson or something right now, like telling you how to cook. I've never done this really in videos. I normally just put text over the screen. You've got the Nigella hair. <laughs> Do I need to like get my boobs out? And, yes, like, please. Start talking erotically about the food. That'd be great. Like moist, I don't know what to say. <laughs> like, Squeeze the butter tenderly between your fingertips. Was that good? Was that an idea like that? Yeah, that's great. Okay. And then you want to pour the flour in. And this is the good bit. You mix it all in with your fingers. You can use a food processor, but we don't have one. Oh, it feels so good. And 
and you need to do this until it kind of becomes like bread light, like bread crummy, so it starts to combine, which mine is now. But it feels really good, like I really enjoy doing this. My hands are really peaceful and I'm relaxing. So what next, Al? Three tablespoons of water. Yep. And a dash of salt. And we don't have a tablespoon measure, so we're using this little soup spoon, which it's should work all right. Hopefully, yeah. But do it bit by bit, yeah, because yeah, you'll yeah. be able to tell. Look, I've got a jar of water there for you, ready? Mm. Oh, is it not? I can, I can do right, it. Okay, just use the tap. I got it. I got it. Yeah, that's fine. Did I put more in? Yeah, three. You said bit by bit. Yeah, but that seems right to me, so. It might need more even than that. Okay, well, we'll try. Three. Just one. One time. grind? Yeah. That didn't have it in no. there. Okay. No. And then, what do you have to do next? Knead it into a dough. But don't over knead it. Yeah, you've got to be careful because otherwise you'll make not the nicest pastry. I think you might need more water than that, but go for it. You have to do it now. Right. Go on. Ugh. Um, okay, what? you don't know how to knead, do you? Okay, so I've just realised Alex has no idea how to knead, so I need to show him how. So I'll show you how really fast, then you can do it. So you basically, you need to like push it in together. You don't want to like touch it too much. I'm by no means no expert, so don't in the comments start telling me I'm all wrong because I know I'm not an expert. You basically need to press it. Press it, okay. I feel like I'm doing this wrong. I feel like I've forgotten. Well, I'll do what you did and see what happens. I think maybe I should just do it because it'll get overhandled. Oh. Okay, so that looks pretty good to me. Uh, it's like a mince pie. Okay. So what's next? Uh, now we have our nice kneaded ball of dough. Make it into a sphere and wrap it in cling film or something and put it in the fridge. Yep. So, hopefully we don't lose light while doing this, but we're going to wrap it up and put it in the fridge. We don't have cling film, so we're just going to use maybe a cloth. Don't go overboard, just I'm really gently. Very gentle. That's fine. One more. Okay. Splosh. Just wrap it up in this bad boy, because I'm sure they didn't have cling film back in the day. When they sure? To make I think they invented cling film to make men's pies. Yeah, wrap it up though, so there's no air getting to it. That's the point it collects in. Not too tightly either. Wink. What time is it? Alarm, 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 alarm. It's not llama, he's saying alarm. Come on, time to get out the fridge. Oh, little baby. Feels like I've been making cheese or something. Baby in a manger. How Christmassy. Right, unwrap. I don't know what, Alec! Oh, I don't um, know what it's going to be like. I suppose it's just going to be the same. The it just same, needs to be but cool. slightly colder. Mm. Mm. Very nice. Okay, so the next thing is we need to roll it out. We need to cover this in flour. And now you must preheat the oven. Mm -hmm. To oh. 200 degrees. Turning it the wrong way. 200. Do, 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 do. Yeah. And Alex will put on the screen how much that is in Fahrenheit. Oh, I can do this in maths. Uh, three, no, four, no, 392. Yeah. Damn, it feels good to be a gangster. So, what do we need to do now? Lightly flour surface and roll out pastry. <laughs> you sound like a robot. I know, that's what I was going for. Flour. Right. Flour. Likely, I like guess. <laughs> Alex, like this. I'm sorry, I'm not a pizza chef. It says lightly flour, but you always need more flour than you think. Yeah. Because it always sticks. So put it in the middle of it. Oh, it looks a bit yellow, doesn't it? Yeah. And um, that. roll it out. Put some flour on the rolling pin as well. I wouldn't trust me to uh, roll this out. Why? Do you want me to do it? I thought oh, I did I'll the try, last try. one. I oh, know, I'll try. So it's your turn to do this one. <laughs> That's enough. Okay. Fine. Okay. Roll right. it out. So what's the technique here? You just go. No. No. Just roll. Don't squish. Roll. Yeah. Yeah, that's okay, what I'm like Yeah. In all the different directions. So yeah, it's going to stick. So you need more flour. More flour? Well, no. Or shall I plop it over? It's fine. Just, yeah, try and get it as, um, 
you know, spread in all directions as possible and as <clears throat> circular a shape yeah. as possible. I'm sorry for anyone who actually bakes regularly. No, I like this. Or is it's, a chef. No, but I like this because it's the appeal, we're just normal. Yeah. We're not like chefs or experts, we're just making it, cooking at home. I think I've only ever rolled something out once. And I think it was pizza. Because you can go watch Jamie Oliver, he has a YouTube channel if you want to watch chefs and professionals do it. We ain't professionals, mate. That's good. I think so, that's probably just enough. even out a little bit because yeah. it's got a few little bumps, but that's a good thickness. I was really expecting this to just no, fall apart. You want it to be about a centimetre thick, so that, that's Still a bit there. bumpier yeah. there. So that's pretty good. And then what does it say next? Me. Look at my, his thumbnail. His thumbnail? Look at his background on this phone. It's me sleeping. Okay, so we need 12 small shapes that's and 12, 12 larger. Large. Hmm. So I think you need to roll it out a little bit more than yeah. that, just in that direction. This side's very thin. You can see how bossy I am, can't you? Sometimes you need to be bossy. So I'll do the cut a bit, because I don't trust you. <laughs> right, stop, stop! No more! So you can like reuse, but it's best not to sort of... You want to place down and sort of give a little wriggle. Nice. But obviously not too much of a wriggle, because you don't want to ruin the surface. So that's one. Five. Two. Four. Come on. Two. Dry. It's eleven. Elf. It's an elf. Right, I don't know if we're going to be able to do this, we'll see. Oh dear. Uno. Due. Tre. Allora. Right, so we're one short, of course. So we're just gonna get all these ones out and then roll it out again and make another one. That's all right. So I'll show you how you do it. Let me just... Pobody's nerf effect. So what you wanna do is put the base in there like that, nice and gently. The bigger circle. Get your, yeah, the bigger circle. Get your mincemeat. And an important thing to do is not overfill it. Last year when I made these myself. Last year? Last year? Um, I overfilled it. And it's really, it's really tempting because you think, oh, I need stuff inside, but you literally don't need much at all. And if it's even slightly bolding, you need less. So go for just like less first, with just like teeny, 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 tiny That's amount. Right. So just a tinsy, tinsy amount, and obviously yep. that needs a little bit more. But don't go overboard by any means. Like that's probably plenty. And then you get a small old bun, and you place this on top. And you basically get wet on your fingers, so. And then you just press the sides together. Crimp. Yeah, so you don't need to like go crazy or anything, it's just to kind of seal it up because you don't want the mincemeat coming out. Mm. You should and be then... good at crimping, you're from Cornwall. I don't even know what that means. Oh, Cornish pasties. pasties. Yeah. And then you just repeat that process. Do you want to do one? Alex? Yes. Yeah. Right. Oh. Alex! <laughs> Why did you put it in like that? Don't drop it. Am I good? Okay. Is that good enough? Yes. <laughs> oh no. No! Um, okay, that's fine. Uh, that's yeah. fine. This mincemeat looks like it has maggots in it. Yeah. Right, plop it in. Okay, so just then what we did was we covered the lids and then we pierced it with a fork and then put some milk on top. You really need to use a brush to do that. We don't have one. So I just used a spoon and I put far too much milk on there so I don't know if they're gonna burn, I fingers crossed they don't. And then you basically wanna shove them in the oven for 20 to 25 minutes, but make sure you keep an eye on them because ovens vary. I have a feeling ours gonna be much faster than that. Yeah. And yeah, uh, in the last five minutes in particular, Go have a look. Um, so when it's like 15 minutes or whatever, go have a look. Make sure you get them perfectly brown because with pastry, it can be a matter of a minute and it goes from being perfectly brown to being burnt. So, yeah. What shelf? Middle. Oh. Just the top one, that's fine. Ow. Now we wait. Oh. 
<laughs> Pull the shelf out. Stop. Ooh. So it's actually only been 15 minutes because our oven is very, very powerful. So they've cooked a lot quicker. But there's only a couple that have burst through. The rest have done pretty well. Yeah, that's not bad. So basically we're just gonna leave them to cool for a minute and then take them out, not for too long, because I like eating them quite warm with a cup of tea. Uh, put them on a plate and then just dust over some icing sugar. Yeah, should we boil the kettle while we wait? Yes. You need a sieve. Um, so we're gonna have to use a colander, which I don't think is gonna do any good, really, and just sprinkle over some icing sugar, but it would have been yeah, yeah, yeah. so much prettier and better for photographs with a sieve, because it makes it all sort of dusty and perfect. Right, okay, moment of truth, we're gonna try one. Moment of truth. And the icing sugar turned out all right, didn't it? The what? Icing sugar. <laughs> okay. Oh, in one go. Mmm. Yummy. You just, you didn't just start a new one, did you? Time for a cup of tea and another. Okay, so I hope you enjoyed our recipe video. Give this video a thumbs up if you want to see more recipe videos like this, because we can do them every now and then with our favorite meals that we cook on this channel, just in a casual way. I'd like to do that. Yeah. And, um, Follow Alex on Instagram, he hasn't, I keep on reminding him to say in the vlog, he has his Instagram oh, yeah. account up and running. So follow him on Instagram, also on Twitter, and tell him, tweet him and Instagram him to make him do it more. Do it. Do it! And also, if you make the mince pies, make sure you tag us on your in your pictures, because that would be really fun to see, wouldn't it? So, it's so have a crack. Yeah. Really easy. Or if you make any recipes, because someone uh, messaged me the other day on Twitter and on Instagram mm -hmm. that they had made our hummus pasta, or they, they thought oh, yeah, the yeah. idea from us. I saw that. Um, which I think is really cute, and it makes me really happy seeing it. So, yeah, and give us requests down below what food recipes you'd like to see in the future, because we can just carry on doing them, because we cook every day, obviously, all the time. This is My arm aches, that's why. <laughs> give it a thumbs up, subscribe, and we'll do more, because this was really fun, actually. Keep doing it? that. <laughs> no. It was fun because normally when I film recipe videos, it's very like professional, like structured. I have to like yeah. film clips. It's kind of fun just to film us making right it together. Angle and everything. Mm, yeah. yeah, this was fun. And now we're gonna go eat loads of mince pies. All the mince pies. Yeah. <laughs> okay. Bye. Bye.